Hey guys, it's Sonia back in London shooting with Icon UK. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me. Today I'm gonna do a get ready with me video, so I'm gonna show you guys my everyday makeup, my hair, and my outfit. So in the summer I don't technically use foundation because I just don't find the need. The sun shines on your face and you kind of get that nice glow as it is and my skin is usually nicer in the summer. So usually I'll use something like a shimmering primer. This one is from Giorgio Armani. It's called Maestro Glow Nourishing Fusion Makeup Biophase Elixir and it has SPF 30 on it. I'll just take a little bit and I pretty much just use this as a light coverage foundation slash all over glow. I'm also majorly obsessed with concealer because I feel like it completely lifts your face and makes you look so much more awake than you actually are. This one is by L'Oreal Paris and it's called Perfect Match and I am in the shade 4 Beige and I'm just using this under my eyes and around my nose to correct redness. All right, cool. So the next thing I'm doing is probably my favorite thing in the world, which is brows. This is a sleek brow gel, and I'm just using this to set my brows in place. I have to set my brows before I comb my hair or brush my teeth, because if I don't, it's just a complete mess, because I have very long eyebrows, and I look ridiculous without a brow gel. So I just comb them up, and then when I get to the end, I kind of just swoop them down. And then once the brow gel sets, I will go in with a pencil and fill in any sparse areas to just make them even more bold. This is a brow pencil by Benefit and it's called Instant Brow Pencil in the color medium. And it's good to do little strokes upwards so that it just looks more natural and not like you literally took a pencil and just filled in your eyebrow. So little small strokes upwards. And don't go too crazy. It's better to go lighter and keep doing it for five minutes than completely mess it up. Then you comb them through one last time, and you're good. Oh, my favorite, contouring. So this is actually a bronzer that I've had for I think a year now, and I absolutely love it. It's Charlotte Tilbury. I think everybody knows this bronzer by now. The little highlighter and bronzer duo. So I'll take an angled brush, and with a bronzer, I'll just, you know the drill, contour my face. And then I'll just go in with the highlighter shade and just put a little bit above my cheekbone. I don't like too much highlighter because I feel like it looks fake 90% of the time, but this is a very, very good highlighter. So just a little bit is all you need. So because I have blue eyes, I feel like the most amazing shade of eyeshadow for me is a red or coral, like orange burned copper kind of color, which I feel is strange and not worn often by people, even though it's so beautiful on the eyes. I'm gonna use this palette by Urban Decay. It's called the Alice in Wonderland palette and it has this really beautiful red copper shade that I'm gonna use for my eyes. And also this color right here, which is kind of more of a brown orangey shade. Again, it looks super beautiful on blue eyes. And don't be intimidated by it. So I'm just gonna take a little brush like this for eyeshadow and I'll take the copper shade on my brush and just pat it on my eyes. And then I'll take that same red color and I'll put it under my eyelid. I think it completely depends on your eye shape whether you're gonna use eyeshadow or mascara on your bottom eyelid, but I find that for my personal eye shape, it looks really great, so that's why I'm putting it there too. And the second thing I'm gonna do for eyeshadow is use this lighter brown color just in my crease to blend out the red. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a black eyeliner and just line above my lash line. I'm not going to go on the inner half of my eye because I feel that closes my eyes and makes them look smaller. So I prefer to just do a thin wing right at the end right here. This is a pencil by Clinique which is called the Skinny Stick. Next I'm curling my eyelashes and applying mascara. This is the L'Oreal Paris False Lash Sculpt Mascara.
And the wand on this mascara is super, super cool. I like plastic wands like this because they just elongate the eyelashes so well. And last but not least, we have lips. This is my absolute favorite lip liner. I am even scared to tell you guys about this because I feel like it's gonna get sold out again. This is a MAC lip liner in the shade Boldly Bare, and it is just perfect. I have no other words, it's perfect. And last but not least, I'm just gonna use a plumping lip gloss because I personally like the effect of plumping lip glosses. I like the feeling of it, and of course I like plump lips. And it's by Soap and Glory. So this is usually what I do for my makeup. And this morning, because I didn't wash my hair, I just put some dry shampoo in it, and then I just messed it up a little bit, and I used the L'Oreal Boosted Volume Hairspray just to keep the little messy look in place. So I guess I didn't really do my hair today because I decided to wear my favorite hat, which is by the designer Lack of Color. It's an Australian brand. It's like a suede hat, and it's my life. I'm wearing my new t-shirt, which I got yesterday from the men's section at River Island. Tied it up a little knot, and I'm wearing a vintage skirt that I found in a little boutique in Los Angeles. And I'm wearing my vintage Chanel bag, which I got at a vintage shop in New York City. And these are Italian boots from Madison Shoes in Beverly Hills. All right, so that was my everyday hair, makeup, and outfit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Icon channel so you don't miss any more videos from me. And you can also click on the screen to see any more videos that I made. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.